Hello and how are you? Good afternoon. My name is Blanca Estela Sotomedrano and today I'm going to be talking about educational research and focusing specifically on collecting and analyzing that. But first of all, I'm going to talk about uh, sources of knowledge. Uh, people attempt to comprehend the world through experience, reasoning and research. And uh, research is uh, considered to be the most legitimate source of knowledge and uh, because uh, it is a process that is guided by accepted procedures to establish credibility it, it requires that a collection that analysis and interpretation and uh, the systematic testable object uh, and objective nature of research allows a careful examination of processes and results mm. Now, uh, four functions of research are ba basic research, applied research, action research, evaluation research. And um, we, in this video, we're going to uh, be talking a little bit about planning educational research, issues collecting data and types of research design so that we can have an overview of the reason why we analyze data in a certain uh, way. And finally, we, we go to data analysis. Uh, planning research requires us to identify the purpose of uh, the research, then the constraints under which the results will take place, uh, to plan possibilities for the research, uh, and then uh, decide the, re the research design, which we are going to discuss a little bit. But before we start a research, we need to make sure that we have informed consent of the participants and then uh, to be careful with the sensitive educational research. And now, in order to back up our investig uh, our research, we need to uh, work on triangulation, which uh, can be basically divided into four types. Uh, first, data triangulation, which is using a variety of sampling strategies, investigator triangulation, which is uh, that more than one observer con contributes to the findings. Then methodological triangulation, which means using different methods and uh, theoretical triangulation, which is approach uh, approaching data analysis with more than one perspective. And uh, we also uh, need to be careful and take into account validity, but validity depends on the research design. In this case, quality, uh, qualitative data validity means honesty, depth, richness, and scope of the data shift, the participants approach, the extent of the triangulation, and that this interestness or objectivity of the researcher. In quantitative data validity can uh, be a shift through careful sampling, appropriate instrumentation, and appropriate statistical treatment of the data. Now, reliability refers to the consistency and replicability of research. Research uh, procedures must be considered over time and across a variety of people who might uh, use them. And finally, external validity is connected to uh, population and sample, and it refers to the degree in which results can be generalized to a wider population cases or situations and this is regarding uh collecting data now um, i'm going to show you uh the types of research design a, a research design can be divided into quantitative uh, quantitative qualitative analytical study or a mix of uh quantitative and qualitative now Quantitative is non-experimental or experimental, and then we have the subdivisions of qualitative and analytical here. Now, I'll, this is regarding um, the design. Now, depending on the design is the uh, way we are going to be analyzing data. So for, uh, in this case, for qualitative uh, research data, we can uh, use uh, inductive procedures or deductive procedures. And uh, basically, for descriptive data, uh, res descriptive research data, we can use uh, central tendencies and variabilities, which are uh, frequency central tendency measures, such as a mean, mode, median, and variability, and correlational research data. If a positive research is obtained, it means that there is a uh, uh, 
close relationship between the variables and if a negative correlation is obtained that means there is no relationship between the variables now correlations are indicated by means of correlation coefficient and then multivariate research that uh, can be analyzed uh, by either multiple regression discriminant analysis and factor enough analysis and finally experimental research data can be achieved uh, through t-test which is used to compare means between two groups of research in ANOVA which is a similar statistical procedure but can be used to compare three or more experimental groups the g-square com uh, computes the frequency which uh, with which the events are being researched actually occur and that's uh, basically uh, that analysis it is important to design our um, methodology for research and finally interpret interpreting data uh, is important so but uh, this is um, what we uh, have to be careful in order to uh, shift uh, good good research and to have enough backup for our projects so well thank you for watching this is it for today and see you soon bye bye